Welcome to Amplifier's interview series. My name is Christian, and joining me today is the co-founder and CEO of 7L International, Vasilios Stoides. Uh, Vasilios, welcome to the series. How are you today? Oh, thank you, Christian. Uh, I'm very good. I'm uh, happy to be here. Thank you for your invitation. Absolutely. Uh, I'm excited to talk about today's topic because we're talking about advice for tech companies and what trends they should look out for in 2023. So 2023 is here now, new year, new technology, and these advancements never cease to surprise us despite, you know, global uncertainty. So what are the main trends companies should watch out for this year? I believe for 2023, uh, th th there are lots of trends, but if I could identify let's say only two it could be it would be ai artificial intelligence and uh, ar augmented reality uh, of course virtual reality as well but i think that uh, augmented reality is the technology that will uh, impact more uh, in the near future in 2023 uh, than vr and of course uh, ai artificial intelligence um, which uh, we are waiting for the release of GPT-4 from OpenAI. Um, we are going to have that maybe in January or February. It's going to be a very big upgrade from GPT-3, uh, advancing artificial intelligence technology uh, by a lot. And I think that all companies should be, uh, let's say, on alert right now, uh, start implementing changes uh, by using these technologies. Um, these changes should be across all different functions in their business um, because these technologies will actually, uh, I think, will actually change the world and the way companies do business uh, in the market. Um, I don't think that many companies will be able to survive the next years if they don't implement uh, technology, not specifically these two technologies, uh, but they, they need to be, all the companies will need to be technologically advanced. These uh, two technologies especially are going to be a big catalyst for companies that uh, can, can use them. No, I couldn't agree more. And uh, as you mentioned about this chat GPT, it's, uh, it's really remarkable what it can do now. So I'm looking forward to that upgrade as well to see how far it can go um, as it's, it's such a useful tool in many, many reasons. You know, uh, Vasilios, you having helped so many startups thrive in a constantly changing world, what advice would you give startups, you know, and how they can kind of guarantee success or at least put them on that path to success? Um, I, I super like startups. I am very glad that you asked this question because I super like startups. I'm a startup mentor since 2017. Um, actually, I have allocated more of my time, about one to two hours per day mentoring startups. Um, I like uh, the entrepreneurial spirit the startup, f the startup founders have. I like their optimism. I like that they, they want to, to solve a problem, actually. They built a company because they have identified a problem. They believe they can build a solution. Uh, they believe that the market will like the solution. Uh, so they are building a company uh, to, to offer that solution to the market, which is, which is great. I think the biggest... Um, my, my advice is just one thing, uh, focus. They, they need to be focused. Uh, this is the, 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 the biggest challenge, but it can be the biggest advantage as well, because a big company, the, their competition, um, the, a big company cannot be focused. Um, they can be, or let's say they can be more focused than a big company on a specific uh, part of the market, which is then the, the, the way they implement the, their focus can be on, let's say, uh, market segmentation. Uh, so if they are very focused and they uh, segment the market well and they optimize on that, they can be uh, unstoppable. And uh, actually, I think that when you focus on a specific segment in the market, you can start understanding that segment's problems very well. And if you do it correctly, you are able to understand um, somebody's problems in that specific segment of the market better than them. When you start understanding somebody's problem better than them, you are able to provide better solutions that they have thought of. 
and there is the opportunity, then you sell the solution. This is true value to the market. No, it's uh, really interesting, and, uh, and that's another another theme. You know, the focus uh, on the product that you're 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 producing, and, and having the same focus across uh, your different um, departments within that company, I think is huge. Uh, that you're ultimately going for the same goal and to make the best product that you can. Now, I, I want to shift over a bit. At Seven L International, you guys are doing some you know pretty amazing stuff. Perhaps you can tell me a bit about it, and also the story behind the name. Yeah, I think it's an interesting story. So 7L, 7L comes from seven layers. Um, the inspiration behind seven layers is the OSI model. Um, OSI model stands for Open Systems Interconnection, which I, I love it as a phrase, like Open Systems Interconnection. It's, it's a beautiful term, right? Um, OSI was the first standard model for communications between uh, computer systems adopted by all major computer and te telecommunications companies in the early 90, uh, 1980s. So it's a very big thing. Uh, all the major, the big computer companies, telecommunication companies adopted uh, OSI. Um, I think that when you build something in the right way, when you have the right structure, then this is the, the, this is powerful. This can uh, can be adopted, and this can withstand the changes um, of of um, uh, of of time. Um, so we are talking about a standard that was adopted in 1980 and we're still using uh, it and it's a technological standard and we know technology changes so much which is amazing that we still uh, use uh, OSI model. So th this was essentially the, mo the motivation beca behind all this, the, the thought that if you build something the correct way with the right, st right structure and right fundamentals, it, it essentially can withstand the changes over time. And it's impressive that the OSI model um, managed to survive. So th this is the the, uh, the inspiration behind 7L. Vasily, it's a, it's a really interesting story, and I think people will want to know more. So if, if, if that's the case, and they're interested in learning more about what you do at 7L International, where should they go? Uh, we, we are everywhere. We have, <laughs> we have a very... Uh, a very active marketing team and we utilize all of the channels uh, of course our website um, of course all the social media facebook twitter linkedin i'm, I'm very active on linkedin um, so wow. they, they can people can use any uh, any channel to to contact us uh, we are uh, very open about it and we are uh, very eager into getting into conversation. Doesn't necessarily need to be a sales conversation. It could be a conversation about technology. We love technology. We love to to talk with other people about technology. Um, and we know how technology can help uh, other people, and we'd, we we would be glad to get into a conversation just talking about uh, technology and opportunities. So go ahead over and check out 7L International. Uh, go follow their social medias and get in touch with them. Not even just about sales, like Vasilios said, but you know, to have a chat about tech, it's a it's a good resource. Vasilios, I just want to say, uh, as they say in Greece, if Kalistopoli, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciated it. Parakalo.